Hi YouTubers, it's Mark from Halfdale Brewery and welcome to another vlog. Right now, last time I had a brew day, I had problems with my temperature controllers. Again. Bane of my life, these bloody things. And someone suggested it could just be the contacts inside. So, recap. It's a Rex C100 clone from China. Um, basically, they've got a sleeve and inside is the electronics, the cubbins. Now, to connect the physical wires on the back to the electronics, rather than being like a direct connection, these sleeves are obviously made for various models, they just change the front and slide the guts in. So what they've done is they've got like a, a grippy thing, and a, uh, let's call it a blade, and it just slides in. Now, if that gets a bit dirty or a bit loose, it's gonna make a crap connection. So what I found was, when I touched the front of my Rex C100 clone, the temperatures were going all over the place. It was like it made, it was like 30 degrees difference. So I'm in the brew shed today, uh, Thursday. Got bored of being on the computer, so let's go to the shed, rip things apart, and show you guys what's inside, and also see if we can fix it. Now, before we start playing with electric, it's time for a beer. So the summer ale, which I did with the last brew day, efficiency was really crap, and I got 3.4, I don't know what's going on there. Um, to be honest, I didn't put any vines in, or any iris moth or anything like that, and it's really cloudy. So I've put some gelatin in tonight, hopefully it'll clear it. So far, it's bloody awful. Um, I didn't have any USO5 yeast, so I use the Mangrove Jacks M44, and you know, it, it tastes and smells just like a homebrew kit that's had really bad temperature control. So that might end up going down the drain. I'm gonna to wait to see it in a week or two and it might be uh, getting poured away. So, moving on, I've still got my dead pony. It's the extract which I never showed you. So let's pour some of that. Now, it might be hard doing this one-handed, so uh, yeah, I might put you down somewhere. Now, I also carved up the summer ale and I forgot to turn this tap off so it's a bit over carbed. I've had a test pour. I'm not going to drink too much and it's only 3.8 but it's lovely and clear. Ignore the glass because that's for a brewery pub. Yeah, really is absolutely 100% clear that and also it tastes bloody good. So this is the extract version of Dead Pony Club that I, I really screwed it up one time. I really, really screwed it up by converting it to my, um, well, I did an all grain version and I messed it up and then I just converted it to extract, but I still left it messed up because it's lovely. Got loads and loads of hoppy aroma and uh, it's actually quite bitter this one. But, pretty shrink it up. Brewed in June, it's now um, nearly September. June, July, August, three months old. It really needs drinking up. If you're in the area, come round, you can help me. Anyway, back to the cook on the Got one sip them off. Back to the control panel. So this is a C100 which is playing up. Um, it's not doing it today because uh, it's been a bastard. Uh, in fact, the other one uh, on the other side was going a bit screwy, so anyway, someone said there's a little clip underneath that you can uh, you can get to to uh, release it. Do you know? I better turn this off. Uh, sometimes I don't turn it off, and I end up shorting my arm between my elbow and the case. And um, I've had a few electric shocks. Right. Well, under here is like a little clip. So if I just push that up. It should release it. He says. Oh, that was. Ta da! Yeah, it's a little clip. You can see because it it's like, there it is. Yeah. You sort of push that clip there, and uh, yeah, it comes out. Well, it's quite warm actually, it's not been on. Right, well, there's the blades, so you know, as I said in the back, there's little clips that it slides into. Uh, they don't look too dirty, they're, 
a little bit of dirt on the edge not too much it looks a bit dirty hold on let's just uh, short that out I don't want to get frapped by a capacitor do I? there's another little one in there but it's only a small one I think it's M2 contacts there yeah well no sparks so it's discharged now that, that capacitor looks really dirty doesn't it really mucky on the outside it's not right if capacitors go they tend to bulge you can't really see in the light but it's not bulgy that's okay and the one in the middle isn't bulgy so it's really simple control they've got a chip on here somewhere and then uh, there's a couple of relays now I've left the relays on because I switched 12 volts from the PC power supply to um, just turn on the the SSRs so I left them in right well all I can do is clean these little connectors I guess and there's nothing else to do um, the mod by the way is that you can solder wire directly onto here you take all the contract contacts off the back of the the sleeve and then you you solder wire direct to these and it fixes uh, a few issues right so I'll get me my cleaner out then uh, while you're here we can we can zoom in here oh I went a bit wonky then so there's your sleeve and then the back of there it's gone wonky again don't know what you can see but for me it's all gone dead white bit odd but yeah in the back of there is the uh, it's called inverse actually there you go so the back of there is the, the contact it just, just slides in look right well uh, let's get this cleaned Now I've got here it's a fiber glass pen. They're really handy actually. It's uh whatever that says. A Cobra 76300 made in Germany. And uh, basically you, you know you whiz the end round and uh, it's got some fiberglass in. Um it's really quite a hard look at it. It's actually loads and loads of filaments of fiberglass. And it's really good for cleaning electronic stuff. So you get, when you bought it, you get like you know, quite a few replacements. So the last few years. So what you can do with these is, that, you know, any old dodgy contacts, uh, you can literally just give them a rub. So uh, I'm going to give these a bit of a, a clean. And uh, if this doesn't work, you know, I'll test it out. It doesn't work. I'm just going to have to uh, bite the bullet, I guess, and solder wires onto here. It should be pretty easy because, uh, you know, these are... Uh, don't like going across you should go down the way of the solder of the uh, the board but oh well I've gone both ways now and well, they're quite shiny they weren't that bad at the start I'm wondering how far they go in because if it's just touching the edge then it might be an issue okay so uh, I'll go across on these don't like doing it but I should really go down anyway God, what a boring video this is hey Now, yep, yeah, I know you're going to say, you've got grease on your fingers, you've just wrecked it, you knob. Uh, I'm just going to inspect it now for any, uh, you know, poor soul joints. And then, um, then let's put it back together. Okay, it looks cleaner, so uh, let's just shove it in the right way. Um, these do move slightly, so that's me. I can't get to the back of the connect, of course, now. It may be that they are... A little loose so if I uh, I can't look it inside and you can't really see much to be honest um, they all look good to me they are not tight I'll poke them the screwdriver to make sure they look tricks off I'm gonna uh, just quickly uh, I can't really see how they connect a bit weird oh, no never mind oh problem is if I poke it too hard Ah, oh, I see. They're not actually, they're not actually like that. They're like that. They're just springy. So it only connects, you know, just pushes against these. So, well, let's re-assemble this. I heard it click. Let's turn some electricery on. Bang! Having you on. So, uh, it was 20-something before. It might have worn up slightly in here. 
So 24 now. Let's have a quick waggle. 20, look, 22 points, right, yeah. I've touched it, so it's capacitance, it's gone up. I let go. And it's come back down again, so it hasn't fixed it, so basically it's a pile of junk in it, eh? Um, I think I might just replace it with something better. Oh, the other one. See, they're all card rated different. So what I've got, I bought this ages ago. Um, yeah, it's from these ink birds. Whatever that is. ITC 100RH. I think it's the right one. Never undone it, so uh, yeah. Basically, it's the ink bird equivalent. Whoa! So the connectors are all similar. The back, they're not the same. They're not compatible, so you can't do a direct comparison with these or replacement even. So I've got this ink bird, which uh, I'll have to read the manual, but this should go into there in the same hole because they are the same size. And um, yeah, I think it's time to replace the old controller then. So, bloody look at that, that is like, seriously, small thermocouple and no, I'm not going to be using that. Um, what happens is, by the way, uh, you, you put this on here and then this grips the control panel once it's inside, okay. So I'll... Uh, I'll have to come back and show you another video of me changing this and having fun. Well, that was a bit of a wasted time, wasn't it, eh? Wasted video. Wasted your time. At least you can see there's issues. So, this ink bird is going to be used, I think, in the near future. I just have to work out how I'll be able to wire it up. Nice little diagram. <laughs> Try to remember how I did the other one. Should be okay. All you're doing is um, when your temperature is lower than your set point, it just shorts out two. It's a relay, just shorts out two contacts, which then sends my 12 volt from the power supply on the PC case to the SSR. That energizes the SSR and sends 220 volts to the heating elements. Well, enough about that. That's a future video. So there you go. Okay, well. <laughs> That's it from another V-Blog. Hope everyone's having a great week and I hope your summer ales turn out better than mine. If you want to brew it, if you haven't brewed it yet, don't use the Mangrove Jacks M44. I don't think it suits it. It's not really the right yeast. <sighs> I'll shut up now, don't worry. So, it's Mark from Hoverdog Brewery signing off. And as always, stay thirsty. <laughs>